So in front of me right here, we have two Ugreen 65W gun charger, but we are not going to review this charger right here because we already reviewed it for this charger. Check it out at the top right corner there. So instead today, we are going to talk about charging protocols because as you can see here, this charger does support quite a lot of them, but it can get quite confusing sometimes. So let's go through some of them in this video. let's first talk a little bit about this charger right here this is again 65 watts in terms of power also from Ugreen is using gun gallium nitride which means it can switch between on and off really quick and also efficiently and it also has a total of four ports at the back three of them USB type C one of them USB type A the two ports at the top is able to output 65 watts maximum but if you want to plug in more then it will downgrade its power to split the 65 watts between all of the ports that you plugged it in but what i really want to talk about in this video is actually fast charging your devices because if you want to fast charge your device you will need both your receiving device and also the output device in this case the charger to be compatible with the same charging protocol so for example uh, let's just say i want to quick charge my laptop it supports usb pd and this charger also supports USB PD, so they can both talk to each other to say, hey, we will use USB PD so that I can take in all 65 watts. So that is how charging protocol works in essence. And currently there are a few fast charging standards in the market that is pretty well widely adopted, I would say. As mentioned earlier, we have the USB PD standard. And then we also have USB PD PPS, which essentially is a subset of USB PD. There's also Qualcomm Quick Charge Standard, Huawei Fast Charge Protocol, also known as FCP, Samsung Advanced Fast Charging, also known as AFC. And <laughs> there's also this charger that supports all of those aforementioned standards as well. And particularly USB PD and USB PD PPS standard is the most widely adopted right now, I would say. And it's an amazing fast charging standard. So it charges many of the newer phones using USB PD PPS standards. So the Samsung Galaxy S20 onwards, all of them are using USB PD PPS. And then the new ROG Phone 5 is also using USB PD PPS as well. And also many laptops that are charging using USB PD standards, as in Type-C port, all of them are using USB PD. But before you buy this charger and expect it to charge your devices without any issues you first gotta make sure that the charging standards are compatible because like what we mentioned earlier those are just some of the standards that are widely adopted but let's just say if your device is using some sort of proprietary charging standard for example oppo's voc or also oneplus with the stash or dart charging i forgot and then there's also vivo I also forgot its name and also there's many other proprietary charging standards out there. For example, Xiaomi's 33W charger which I have absolutely no idea what they're calling it. Those are all proprietary charging standards because no other charger can support their fast charging protocol. You will need their charger and also their cable to be able to fast charge their smartphone. That is what you call proprietary charging standards which is something that I'm really not a fan of because Let's just take the Mi 11 for example. We also did a little rant of the whole charger situation. You can watch it at the top right corner there. Essentially, what I said is, even though that charger is 55 watts in power, you cannot charge a laptop because it cannot talk to the laptop to output all 55 watts, if you get what I mean. So if you want to know our thoughts on this Ugreen 65 watts gun charger, check out the review of this one instead. The only differences between these two chargers is EU plug, UK plug, and also as mentioned in that review, I prefer this EU plug for compactness, but UK plug for convenience sake, because we in Malaysia, we use UK plug, so this one is just direct plug and play, you don't have to use a converter or anything else. And that's it. That's all we have to say. Yay. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. I'm loving this Ugreen charger overall. I've been using it for like six months right now, actually. Yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video.